Drawing Out the Facts, the Naked Science Scrapbook. Hello and welcome to the Naked Science Scrapbook from the Naked Scientists. This time we're answering the question, why don't birds get electrocuted sitting on power lines? OK, we'll make this simple and imagine a case with electricity being produced at a power station and being transported to just one house. A power station is basically like a giant battery, pushing negatively charged electrons from one cable into the other. This produces a pressure difference, called a voltage, between the live and neutral cables, which makes electrons flow in a current from one side of the circuit to the other. The current will flow through anything that conducts electricity that's attached between the live and the neutral cables, whether it's a kettle, a lamp, or even a human body. So if you happen to be attached to both sides of the circuit, then the electrical current will flow through you too, which can be fatal as the current can cause severe burns and disrupt your heartbeat. This is because the heart is made up of muscle cells, each of which beats automatically in what's called a myogenic rhythm. But to pump blood effectively, you can't just have the cells beating whenever they want. They need to beat in sync. And this is achieved by a specialised group of pacemaker cells called the sinoatrial node. This behaves a bit like a metronome, triggering other heart cells to contract at the right time. But if you touch a live wire, electricity can flow through your body, including through the heart, disturbing the electrical firing of the muscle cells, which can cause them to begin to contract irregularly, and this is called fibrillation. When it happens, blood stops being pumped around the body, starving the brain and vital organs of oxygen, which quickly results in death if the normal rhythm isn't restored. At mains voltage of 240 volts, it takes a current of just 60 thousandths of an amp for this to happen. A high voltage power line, some of them carrying electricity at over half a million volts, would cause an even higher current to flow through your body, more than enough to kill you. To make things safer in the home, the neutral side of the circuit is also connected to the ground. This is known as earthing the circuit, and it means that if a live cable touches the case of your toaster or the oven, the current drains harmlessly away. But if you stand on the ground and touch a live cable directly, you're effectively connecting it via your body and the ground to the neutral line. This completes the circuit and you get electrocuted. So what about birds that sit up on the power lines without any problems? Well, a bird that's just sitting on a cable is not completing any circuit, so no current will flow through it and it's perfectly safe. And in fact, you could quite happily sit up on the cable with the birds yourself, as long as you weren't touching anything else that was in contact with the ground and therefore the neutral line. In other words, so long as you, or indeed a bird, don't make your body part of the electrical circuit, no current will flow through you and you won't get zapped. To get the answers to more science questions, join us online at thenakedscientist.com forward slash scrapbook. Bye!